This is Father Soch Villegas, greeting you from the Archdiocese of Linga and the Gupan, welcoming you to the Light of Faith. We were asked this question, what are the different titles of the hierarchy of the church? They seem to be confused about Monsignor, about Bishop, about Cardinal, and so on. So, what are these titles? First, one of the seven sacraments is called Holy Orders. And Holy Orders is one of the seven sacraments instituted by Christ for our salvation. There are three ranks in the order. First is the deacon, the second is the priest, the third is the fullness of the priesthood, and it is the bishop. So, a deacon is usually called reverend. A deacon is a, a young man who has committed to celibacy, who has committed to pray for the church, who has committed to obey the bishop, and who in turn receives ordination. With the laying on of hands of the bishop, this man becomes a deacon, he becomes a servant. A deacon can assist at marriages, a deacon can baptize, a deacon can preach. But most of all, most important of all, the important role of a deacon is to be a servant. Because the greatest in the kingdom of God is the one who serves. After the deacon, we have the priest. The priest officiates at the Eucharist. The priest forgives sins. The priest anoints the sick with oil. The priest gives blessings. The priest is a pastor of souls. He becomes a shepherd of souls. So, we call a priest father. Does it mean that he is competing with the Father of God? No. It only means that He is an image of somebody who generates life, somebody who shares life. Because the priest, when he baptizes, gives life. The priest, when he blesses, shares life. The priest, when he gives the body of the Lord, gives the body of the Lord, who is life himself. So, the priest is called Father. But there are some priests who are called Monsignor. Who are the Monsignor? The Monsignor are priests who have been given honorary titles by the Pope himself. So, the title Monsignor is given by the Pope. You become a papal chaplain or honorary prelate or protonotary apostolic, meaning to say these are titles given by the Pope for services that have been rendered by this priest to the church. Maybe they hold special positions. Maybe they have been outstanding in their ministry and therefore the Holy See recognizes them as human beings. They are given affirmation. They are given a message of appreciation by the Pope himself. So they are called Monsignor. The next level is the level of Bishop. A Bishop is somebody who has received the fullness of the priesthood. A bishop is the father of priests. A bishop ordains priests. A bishop is the teacher, is the servant, is the priest of a small section of the people of God that we call diocese. So, a bishop is the father of a small section of the people of God that is called diocese. What is an archbishop? An archbishop is, is still a bishop. He is the bishop of the mother diocese. For example, in the Archdiocese of Linga and the Gupan, the bishop of Linga and the Gupan is called an archbishop because he is the senior, 
He is the He is the uh, metropolitan. They say what we what we call He is the first among the other bishops. So the archbishop is first among the brothers, and around the archbishop would be the so-called suffragan bishops. Don't get uh, intimidated by the word. A suffragan bishop would be a bishop that is attached to an archdiocese, to an archbishop, in the sense of fraternity. And then, after the archbishops, we have cardinals. Cardinals in, ancient, in olden times were citizens of Rome. They were pastors of Rome, and they were the direct advisors of the Pope. A cardinal is literally a hinge, the hinge of the door. So the cardinal connects the Pope to the people. The cardinal advises the Pope. And when the Pope dies, it is the cardinals who come together to elect a new Pope. But what are these titles for? I have to be honest with you, they are nothing without love. Because these are only titles given to us for a function. If I am a priest without love, I am nothing. If I am an archbishop without love, I am nothing. If he is a cardinal, if he is a pope without love, they are nothing. Because what makes us valuable in the kingdom of God is not the title given to us, but the love that we share. The greatest in the kingdom is not the one who has a special seat. The greatest in the kingdom is not the one with special vestments. The kingdom of God is for the one who loves the most. These titles, all of these will pass. At the gates of heaven, the Lord is not going to ask us, Who are you? The Lord is only going to ask us, How much love have you left behind? Because we will bring to heaven only what we have given up. What we refuse to share, we cannot bring to heaven. If we have given up our life here on earth for the service of humanity, we will find our life again in heaven. The greatest is the one who loves. Thank you for your question. Thank you for helping us to guide you. Keep sending your questions so that we can help you grow in our love for the Lord so that we can help you deepen the light of faith that God has given you. Thank you very much. God bless you. Let us pray for one another.